uh, somebody from California who's going to talk to us. Who Can you believe it? He's made a movie about Mr. McFeely, but not just about Mr. McFeely, about the man behind Mr. McFeely. And uh, his name is Paul Germain, and we're going to say good... I guess it's still good morning in both of our time zones. Hello. Good morning. Hi. How are you today? Good. How are you? Uh, wonderful. And how can you not be wonderful hearing all this uh, great music, Paul? <laughs> yeah, it makes, puts me, it gives me a good feeling. Uh, I'm glad. Well, congratulations uh, to you. Uh, uh, you know, I know Dave, David Newell. Mm-hmm. I've known him... As Mr. McFeely, as a child, uh, me as a child, and I know him from working in the community together uh, in, a, in a number of different settings. And uh, it's absolutely wonderful uh, that uh, a, a chance to break the wall is occurring, so to speak, uh, where you're going to share uh, a bit behind uh, the man who is Mr. McFeely. Uh Tell us a little bit about what prompted you to do the movie and a little bit about the movie itself. Well, I knew uh, Mr. McFeely uh, much in the way that you did as a child, um, as, you know, a very one-sided character, an inter- entertaining character, but uh, someone that, you you know, we really only knew as this delivery man who came in and out. Um, but upon meeting David in person, you know, I, I could tell within, you know, 10 seconds that there was a lot more complexity to who he was and why he did what he did, and I was very inspired to watch him at work. So I thought that people could uh, certainly benefit from, you know, getting to know David a little bit better, but seeing the way that he's chosen to live his life uh, in service of others. How uh, did you go about uh, creating the script and then, uh, you know, more or less blocking out the film? Well, we started, um, David basically just gave us his calendar and said, you know, here's what I'm up to. And when you look at uh, his calendar, it's it's unbelievable I mean, because he's probably a guy that doesn't necessarily have to be working anymore, but... He is Mr. McFeely probably at least once a week uh, for the whole year, constantly traveling and and being that character. And we just started with that. We uh, picked out a couple uh, events that he was doing that we thought would be interesting and let the camera roll. And uh, what did you learn as you gathered this footage? Uh, What did I... What did you learn or, or what surprised you, I guess, in addition to his busyness? Well, I mean... It's, I think it's, first of all, it's surprising how easy it is for David, just by being himself, to kind of bring joy and inspiration to neighborhood fans, you know, both young and old. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of the special things that we saw, you know, on repeat occasions was a parent and a child that had both grown up watching David, um, which he would make, you know, jokes about, about being around that long, being able to, you know, go through a generation or two. But um, to see how much he really means to the people uh, that he would spend time with was something that that was great to capture on film and something that is a really fun part of the film. I I can only imagine. uh, And, uh, you know, here in Pittsburgh, and you spent some time in Pittsburgh, too. And In fact, are you you originally from Pittsburgh? I'm not. uh, I can tell you that I love Pittsburgh. I spent two and a half years um, at Carnegie Mellon's Heinz School of Business. Yeah, I thought so. And um, really got to know Pittsburgh very well. And one thing I was really surprised by is I did not know that, you know, Pittsburgh was Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It's it's obviously a very ambiguous American small town in the show, but, I mean, when you really watch the show, there's a lot of hints as to mm-hmm. the Pittsburgh identity. I mean, even down to the accents of, of David and Fred and <laughs> other characters, you can hear that Pennsylvania kind of Pittsburgh sound. But then when they would go out into the community, um, you would notice, oh, hey, they're in Oakland, or, hey, you know, they're in Shadyside. And I really wanted to kind of remind viewers that, um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is Pittsburgh, and we do a good job of that in the film. Oh, it's great. Now, the film uh, is going to be screened uh, Thursday, April 10th at the Regent Square Theater, uh, which is right on Braddock Road uh, at Regent Square. And you're going to be there. Uh, I'm going to try to make it there um, if I can. Uh, you'll be there to lead uh, a, a chat session afterwards. Uh, I think David true. will be there as well. I hope he will. David be. will be there. I'll tell you he'll be there. Um, David will be there, myself, the uh, sound designer in the film, uh, is a gentleman named Fritz Myers, who is a Carnegie Mellon grad, and the composer is a Carnegie grad, um, also from CFA, and he's going to be there as well. So it'll be most of the people that uh, worked on this little film will be there to talk, and I think there's a reception after, so we'll have a chance to speak with people about the film. Well, terrific, Paul. And how long is it, uh, out of curiosity? It's an hour and 12 minutes and three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
approximately, huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, it, uh, I really am glad you made this movie. Again, as somebody who knows both sides of David, uh, you know, somewhat, uh, I, I'm just so happy uh, that somebody is going to give other folks the chance and, and to really preserve uh, uh, this wonderful man on, on film uh, the way the way you uh, apparently have. I, I know you have. I can't. I looked at some of the stills and I took a look at uh, uh, the website and the credits. I'm really looking forward to learning more about the film and seeing it. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to mention? Yeah, um, it's a fun film. I think people will enjoy it and I think bringing it home to Pittsburgh uh, is going to be something very special because it, it definitely is a film that you know it celebrates the neighborhood it celebrates uh, those at Family Communications who work so hard to create the neighborhood and keep it going. And it celebrates Pittsburgh. Um, and in a very fun way, um, you know, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles right now, and sometimes when I watch the opening credits or parts of this film, uh, I feel that Pittsburgh nostalgia because we do include the bridges and streets and the neighborhood. Um, and kind of in the way they did in the show with a miniature model, we wanted to show that that model is kind of a representation of, of Pittsburgh. Oh, so I, I think it'll be a lot of fun to watch um, down in the Berg. Oh, it sure sounds like it. Paul, thanks for uh, being up a little early for us this My pleasure. morning. Have a safe trip to Pittsburgh, and uh, I hope to see you Thursday. Wonderful. Come on out and see Speedy Delivery. That's uh, Paul Germain, uh, Speedy Delivery, the name of the film, uh, and a preview at the Regent Square Theater on Thursday, April 10th. You'll have a chance uh, to see that preview. Well, in just a moment, uh, I'm going to introduce you to some Cub Scouts who are here. What a busy show it's been. Uh, in fact, uh, it's about time uh, to do that right now.